question is, P- PB's band wants some love, too, because they're tired of all of these new bands coming into the swag as well. I, I just want to throw a little th- something in there for the so, band. So, Mike, when, when you say new bands, you're clearly referring to Johnny Gill joining New Edition. You can't be referring to bands that have been here. You're referring to one of those new bands, right? I'm yeah. I'm talking to some band who calls himself the the something 100 and and that other one in Bethune. You know, we're just here we, to make you go platinum. We're just here to make the album go double platinum. You know, exactly. that, that's all Johnny Gill did. All Johnny Gill did was come in and make you go double, triple platinum. Man, all, all Johnny, all Johnny Gill did was get a life jacket put on his sinking career, man. I knew it. This, this is, <laughs> Johnny Gill was playing lounges. New Edition was playing arenas, and we just, we just gave him a stage. So you know, but I will say this, man, and 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 all uh, respect and love for this HBCU space. I do think Brian is spot on as far as what this matchup on September 5th uh, means internally for both programs and globally for yeah. the HBCU space. Uh, both of these coaches have done a phenomenal job in, in, in carrying the banner of returning to HBCUs and the HBCUs have a something to say, particularly at FAMU and Tallahassee, Jackson State and Jackson. And now they get this matchup in Miami to showcase this talent on both sides of the ball, on both teams. There is a lot of talent. So I'm with you, Brian. I think if anything, we may be underestimating when we say a dozen in five years because there are a couple of guys on these teams that will be eligible in this next draft, uh, 2022, because they're coming up on on a senior status. So I I think that it's a bevy of talent out there. And, Chuck, it reminds me of, you know, when you talk about the swag and the parity that used to exist. You know, once upon a time when Jackson State was playing Southern and Baton Rouge, you had Jimmy Smith playing for Jackson State and Aeneas Williams playing for, uh, for Southern. You That's had true. that kind of Hall of Fame yeah. and Hall of Fame potential talent on the field at the same time. And I, I'm with you, Brian. I think that both of these coaches are going to prepare these teams to play and to win. It's going to be an exciting game in Miami. And I think that you can write down some names and some numbers and remember, say, I remember those guys battled out back in college, and now here they are in the NFL doing it again. Yeah, I, 